Okay, this is from Vicky, and it's also for some other people who've asked about just basic lead control and having dogs not pull. Everything about your relationship with your dogs will come back to what they're like on leads. So all I've got here is, it's, it's a lightweight, the vet sell them, stop, good boy, is a lightweight, um, choke is not a great word, but it's just a sliding lightweight rope um, lead from local vets. Um, so obviously if they're selling it, they think they're pretty good. It's just good because their pressure and relief is good. As soon as you give um, relief, it, it backs straight off. And I've just added, because they're a bit short, I've just added another lead. Now, he just got to learn not to pull on this. He went to go then. We did one session with him yesterday. Prior to that, I saw him pulling Vicky around pretty hard and this dog can pull. So um, we just got to teach him. We want his mind to be with us and we start with this. And we start as, as young pups usually. So I want him to start coming with me even though I'm moving off. Banjo. So I give him a couple of, and I can put him wherever I want with this by, by little jabs like that, good boy. And when he's where I want him, reward, just a light reward like that. And I want him to start knowing when we're going, full loop in the lead, no pulling. Banjo, banjo. Uh -uh. I don't want any of that silly stuff. Banjo. And I'll click him back to my side if I need to. The bottom line is if he doesn't come with me and this starts to tension, I remind him, good boy, Banjo, I want his attention here, not all over the place because we're we're training. Head up. No sniffing while we're training. Banjo, come. And this, so this dog was pulling like crazy yesterday. If he does get ahead of you and start taking the lead, presuming he did, but he's getting that good now, he gives it to me. That's a finger. Banjo. And if I need to, if I feel him out there, ah, ah, he gets a bit excited. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. So I'm pulling back this way. It's just the way I like to do it because he's getting that way. I can do it like that. Uh, I don't like dogs in front of me, but that's something that I can work on later with him. Get him up. Uh -huh. He jumps into your space a little bit, which is a bit rude, really. He should just come in slower with more respect. It's only because he's young and exuberant, but, but you get on top of those things now and you have a very respectful dog. Bit of a yawn there, that's pressure. But the bottom line is, yesterday he wouldn't do this. If he doesn't come, bang. Goes too far, banjo. Couple of, couple of jabs in if You've gotta go strong enough to get the desired effect. So if you're tapping away and he's being ignorant of it, you have to up the severity of it a little bit. Severity is not a good word either, but um, cause you're not trying to hurt the dog, you're just trying to make it uncomfortable. You're trying to make the wrong thing uncomfortable as it would be if he was ripping your arm off. That's uncomfortable for you. And you make the good thing comfortable. A loose lead, always comfortable. A non-loose lead. And eventually you end up with, you throw that away. That becomes invisible. And you have a dog where you just tap your leg or call whatever cues you want to give, tell him to come behind, and you have an invisible lead. But you will never have an invisible lead if you don't get a loose lead to start with. It'll never happen. Banjo. Banjo. Good boy. Come on, mate. Let's, mate, let's move smart in. Good boy. One finger in that. And that's what a dog should do. He's starting to get tuned into me. When I stop, he stops. When I move, he comes. If he doesn't, I'll remind him. Come on, mate. One finger. Bang. That's a dog starting to get in tune with a person. That's just a basic lead lesson. And it's the basis of all manners on a dog. If they pull, they're giving you the middle finger. That's what they're doing and saying they run the show. I'll test him again. I'll move away. Bang. I want him over here so I can actually, I don't want him coming out in front of me. I don't like my dogs out in front of me unless they're asked. Because if you're looking at stock and trying to work, you can trip over them. And that's your space. He should ask to come into my space. Just like in a dog pack, they don't just thunder into another dog's space willy-nilly. So, a bit of lead training there. Pretty basic. This dog was pulling like a banshee yesterday, and he's starting to get it now.